Chapter 8, Question 9. The psychology department is gradually changing its curriculum by increasing the number of online course offerings. To evaluate the effectiveness of this change, a random sample of N equals 36 students who registered for introductory psychology is placed in the online version of the course. At the end of the semester, all of the students take the same final exam. The average score for the sample is N equals 76. For the general population of students taking the traditional lecture class, the final exam scores form a normal distribution with a mean of mu equals 71. So let's pull out those values before we get into what the question is going to ask us. So our sample has a sample size of 36. The mean of that sample is 76. And the mean of the population is 71. Question 9a, if the final exam scores for the population have a standard deviation of sigma equals 12, does the sample provide enough evidence to conclude that the new online course is significantly different from the traditional class? Use a two-tailed test with an alpha of 0.05. So our step one of our hypothesis testing procedure, we need to state our hypotheses. So the first is that our population value um, is of the sample is still 71. This is our null. Our alternate is that it's not equal to 71. So that's a non-directional non or two-tailed hypothesis. Step two. We have a two-tailed test with an alpha of 0.05. If we look in the back of the book, in table B1, the z-score, the critical value, is plus or minus 1.96. So if we draw that out, what that looks like is we've got positive 1.96, we've got negative 1.96, and anything that's going to be more extreme falling into either of these tails is going to be significant. We're going to reject the null hypothesis, we're going to accept the alternate. If it falls somewhere in this middle, then we're going to fail to reject the null hypothesis. And the way that I got that this value is I had to take alpha and divide by two because I've got two tails. So I've got 0 0.025 here and 0 0.025 over here. So I've got step one, step two, step three of the hypothesis testing procedure. I need to calculate my z-score. So part one of that is I need to calculate the standard error. So I'm going to take 12, divide by the square root of 36. So 12 divided by 6, which is equal to 2. I'm going to take this and then I plug it into my z-score formula where I take the mean minus the population value divided by the standard error. And so the mean was 76. Subtract the population value of 71 and divide by 2. That gives me 5 divided by 2 which gives me 2.5. 2.5 falls out here. So it's more extreme. So in step four, what I do is I'm going to compare this 2.5 to the critical value that I calculated in, or found in step two. And 2.5 is more extreme than 1.96. So I reject the null and accept the alternate and I conclude that there is enough evidence to conclude that the online course is significantly different. Online is significantly different than traditional. 